welcome back to my channel. Today I have got probably my last Christmas DIY to share with you. I uh, thought I was all done with Christmas um, DIYs and crafts, but I, but I got my HGTV magazine in and that little wreath on the cover it stole. stole my heart and I just had to have it. It's actually a DIY. They share all of the details in the magazine. So I ran out yesterday morning and got all of the stuff that um, I needed to do it and I'm going to share it with you. So let's get started. Okay, so I was just going to show you the inspiration here. This is, I'm sure, the December issue. Yeah, December 2018. How cute is that? It's just a wreath and it uses the little honeycomb balls. Um, it was pretty quick in the magazine. It showed you what you needed and how to do it. Here. Um, it says that you can get, they use the two inch and the three inch little honeycomb balls and they got them off of Amazon and it gives you the links and stuff, but I, um, it wasn't going to come in in time. It was going to be like three weeks or something like Christmas is going to be over. I'm ready to do my home tour. I want to get this wreath up. Like it wasn't going to work. So anyway, I ran around to, I first went to Walmart thinking they would have them in the decoration department but they didn't but i did find the wreath for 278 there y'all total steel i accidentally grabbed two they were stuck together and i thought um it was just one but it looks so nice together i think i might end up just um wiring them together and using it as one big full wreath so i got those and then i end did get the um floral wire that they say to use um for the little balls and um they like i said they did not have the um they did not have the honeycomb balls so i um i racked my brain i thought dollar general maybe I, I know i've seen these things in um like the party party decoration section so i knew somebody had to have them well i ran to a little kind of like dollar store place we have in a couple of towns over called loopies and they have all sorts of decorations and they had them not exactly what they had um, in the magazine, but they had the garland, and I thought I could just snip them off of the um, string and use them. These will just be three inch balls, three inch little balls. I won't be able to have the three and the two, but it'll be fine. I wanted to get it done, and I found it in my town. I didn't have to go very far, and I didn't have to order anything, so I got this color. I don't know if they have names. It's the brand is called Unique. They did have these on um, Amazon for like $5.99. They're $3 at Loopies. Um, anyway, this one came with the turquoise and the pink and the green and yellow and looks kind of like a royal blue. And then I did pick up this one too that comes with um, my colors too, but it's uh, more of a lighter pink. So I thought that might be fun. And then I did grab this one which is like that minty turquoise color that i like so much in my decor so i thought all those paired together would make a super cute wreath so let's get started i think it's gonna be fun and whimsical y'all know me i love out of the box christmas decor i'm not traditional at all inside outside i do like to do traditional but um i think this wreath it just screamed to me when i saw the magazine so um i'm ready to uh, get it done and see what it looks like in my um in my house I'm, i think i'm gonna put it on my um on my big hut upstairs that I keep all of my fiesta wear in. I think that'll look really cute so we'll see. All right so I guess what I'm gonna do first is just take these two um wreaths and they're not gorgeous y'all. I mean they're 278 what do you expect but they're I mean they're pretty nice and I'm gonna have it up high if I put it where I think I'm gonna put it so nobody's gonna be really inspecting this thing and and seeing its quality so um I don't know if I will put these two together or not. It really just makes it fuller from the side, and I don't even know if that matters. I might save that other one for another project. So I'll just set this aside for now and get started fluffing this up, and then we'll just go from there.
Okay, y'all, I am just obsessed with how this came out. I'm gonna have to find a way to store this thing because it is very delicate, but how cute is it? I wish I would have had um, the different sized balls, like the two um, inch and the three inch to kind of give it more dimension, but I think overall it is just precious. I love the colors. I just love how it turned out. I think it's so cute. Anyway, it came together fairly quickly. The, the hardest part was like opening the things up and making sure that they um, stayed, the little honeycomb balls, and then um, twisting them in the back was a little bit of a challenge, but not really. It was just time consuming because it was time consuming. It wasn't like it was a hard project or anything like that. But um, it probably came together in about 30 minutes, so. I'm gonna go get my husband to, um, we're actually in a snowstorm right now, so he's inside, he's not farming. I'm gonna get him to hang this up and then I'll take some footage of what it looks like up on my hutch, if that's where I decide to put it, I think so. But um, anyway, I just think <laughs> it is precious. It is so me, it is so my style, vintage with um, splashes of my colors, so um, I love it. Anyway, thanks so much for following me along for this, which is probably my last Christmas craft. We have lots more Christmas stuff to share, um, our traditions and different things that we're doing throughout the month, but this is probably my last craft. So, so uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.